of the Opposition. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Uh, uh, since the uh, Treasurer is so concerned about upbeat statements, I remind you, Prime Minister, in 1993 you said exports were about to go gangbusters. And in August last year you said, quote, we have been exporting our heads off for years. How can this be so in the light of yesterday's balance of payments figures showing trend exports Order, those on my right. showing showing trend exports have been uh, have been flat for one and a half years no Deputy you should lift Prime your game Minister you know he told you all helping. you should lift your game you know he called the ministry together and told you all the to improve your the game the deputy leader of the You're opposition you got to save your job Brian. the deputy leader of the opposition and, uh, come to your question or resume your seat and how can this be so when you rank OECD countries by the export of services to GDP, we are 21 out of 22, and our export to GDP ratio lags at less than 18 per cent, compared to an average 30 per cent for the OECD and 30 per cent for New Zealand. The Honourable the Prime Minister. Oh, he's been having too many cream clays at Claridge's, Mr Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> he just, uh, just not quite across the stuff. Mr. Speaker, Order. the reason I've been saying we've been exporting our heads off for years is because we have. <laughs> it's because we have. I mean, please excuse me for repeating that, for that, repeating that fact and that truth. I mean, pardon me. <laughs> that exports have gone from 13% of GDP to 22% of GDP in the last decade. From now, just get those numbers again. Exports have gone from 13% of GDP. The 22 per cent of GDP. The member for Mayo you know knows I mean? better. Well, that poor silly fellow, uh, he more to be the pitied than despised. Mayo. The member for Mayo, Mr Don't Speaker. Push it. More to be pitied than despised. <laughs> now, uh, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, when, when the former Treasurer, when the former Treasurer, when the former Treasurer was, uh, was in office, we had exports to GDP so low in the OECD league table, in the developed league, in the developed league table, so low in the developed league table, you'd think you'd have your head in shame. Because, as I've said before, he presided over the industrial archaeology he called the industrial landscape of Australia, the graveyard. And is it any wonder we were right at the bottom of the pile in the OECD? as a consequence of the massive improvement in competitiveness in this, by, in, introduced by this government in opening Australia up, in lifting, uh, in lifting our competitiveness, in uh, lifting productivity. As a consequence, not only, not only Mr Speaker, has, have exports gone from 13 to 22 per cent of GDP, well up, well up in the OECD league table, well up there in the OECD table, but as well as that, the fastest growing component of those exports was the member for elaborately Mayer. transformed manufacturers. Elaborately transformed manufacturers. So, Mr. Speaker, how the deputy leader, talking about one month's number, one month's number, can talk about exports uh, or even 18 months when you look over this period of the last 10 years, a constant, uh, a constant period of growth in exports. You wouldn't have known what to do with the place. You, you quit absolutely bereft of any ideas. You scurried out of office in 82-3, leaving this uh, rotting hulk behind you called Australia, Industrial Australia. And, uh, and, and, and Mr Speaker, one of the compliments I was paid in the last year or so was by Bert Evans from the Metal Trades. And he said, I'm a member of the 180 Degree Club. And he said, that's the people who change their mind completely about industrial protection and tariffs. And Mr Speaker, he changed his mind because of the turnaround in Australian industry and its success. So, Mr Speaker, it'll do, take more than a reference to a month or 18 months on the part of the Deputy Leader to try and dull the point to diminish the achievement of Australian business and Australian industry and Australian workers to actually lift our exports to be right up there in the league table of the OECD at 22 per cent of GDP and rising. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Lyons.